You never know how much memories you have until it's gone and nothing's here. Everything means something to me. Everything had a place. You feel me? Uh. I just had an epiphany. Clear. I swear I remember the struggle vividly. Swear. Friends came and went. Didn't nobody stick with me. In and out the hospital. Didn't nobody visit Didn't nobody me. Visit Shit. Me. I was trying ball like Mr. Clean. Using my talents to get the plaques like Listerine. Uh. Stress had me lighting trees. Now I'm using my gift to get all this wrapping paper like it's Christmas. Crazy seeing the house empty. You never know how much memories you have until it's gone and nothing's here. Everything means something to me. Everything had a place. Thanksgiving table. Like nothing's here. It's feel weird just looking at it with nothing here. It's crazy. All these was little kid memories. Like, I done fell off these steps a gang of times. Let me show y'all my room. Man, this bring back so much memories. This was my mom's room. We had to share rooms, so this was my mom's room. When I got to a certain age, I was like, man, I need, I need some privacy, mom. So she was like, well, take your ass in the closet if you want privacy. So that's where I end up sleeping. This is my room. Ugh. I slept right here on the floor. Had blankets. You know, had a sheet right here. It was cool though. And then, oh, they left my radio. I swear, this was the first, the first thing I ever recorded on. I used to get a, a cassette tape and I would take a Q-tip take the thing off the Q-tip, put it in this cassette tape. I will put it in here and I will record. This was the first time I ever recorded was on this thing right here. That's crazy. This was it. I remember sitting right here. I would have my pen in my past. Like, I wrote my first rap in this room. I was fucking bored. Who would've knew I catch fire like a hoverboard? Labels were stringing me around playing tug of war. Till I told them put a sock in it like the upper drawer. You want struggles? This is what I'm heading for. No mattress, just sheets spread it on the floor. I used to push that Snow White, no seven doors. Now I'm a target, so I bulletproof the Chevy doors. I mean, I know some dudes from around my way who got locked up and never came out the same. They just post on the block with the pound all day and do the same thing over like it's Groundhog Day. They can never lead a block, so they live through me. So every now and then, I bring up my old E, sit on the porch with them and tell them all of my stories. Since they on house arrest, I make them feel like they torn. This shit is crazy, like, it's like jail. And they had a little window. I used to just be in here beating on the walls, like, just looking out that window, that's all I had. She spread it all on the floor. It's this right here. This is what got me to where I am right now. If I didn't have this, I wouldn't know what I would have did. Like I started with that. So I always, I'm always had one of them in my house. I'ma just keep it. And I might record on it from time to time. I might do my next album on that. Fuck it. It's gonna sound stupid. No mixing or nothing. I might just, I might just raw it. Let me walk down the street like this. Just fuck it. Raw. I might do my next shit on that. If it come out on that and it sound fucked up, y'all know why. I ain't mixing it, nothing. I'm just doing it like that raw with all the bullshit sounds in the room. I'm gonna do that. This is crazy. Like this is this this where I start in this little last room. My goal was to get from this little last room to a five story mansion in the sky. The sky's the limit, right? I'm looking past the sky. My mom always told me dream big. So I always did that. No dream is too big, no idea is too small. I had shit wrote on the walls. I used to write raps all on the wall, but they it's obvious they painted over it by now, but I had raps all on the wall when I couldn't find paper. And uh, my mom 
found it one time and she beat my ass for writing on the wall. So she made me paint it over. That's the first time I learned how to paint. So it's like everything is a lesson. I learned how to paint because I had to paint over these these bars that I was writing. And if I would have never wrote on the walls, I'd have never learned how to paint. So it's a lesson in everything. It's crazy. I can't even fit in this motherfucker no more. It's all extra small. I used to be able to walk around. It's crazy, man. Like seeing it bring back so much memories. Like I can't even be in here too long. It's like imagine somebody just wipe out your whole childhood and you have can't remember nothing. It's like the little men in black thing. It's like they put the thing to your face and they press it and it just erase everything, like all your memory. It's just like when this leave, all my childhood memories going with it. But I have to try to remember all the good things that happened. That way I can never think negative about this. This is what made me right here. When I came from Belize, this was the first place I came. I never left from there. So you gotta think, I've been out here since I was one. I left Belize, my mom left Belize and brought me out here when I was one. She wanted a better life for me. And when we came, we came straight here. And I never left here since then. So it's like, this is what made me. This house is what made me. This balcony, you know, all the cracks on the wall. Everything, everything is what made me who I am today. And like, you take it for granted because you always think it's going to be here forever, but you never really know what's going to happen. So you, you really got to, you really got to start appreciating all the little things, no matter how, how little it is. Because when it's not here no more, you know, it's like, I remember we used to play hide and seek and I used to always come and hide right here on the roof. Nobody used to never find me until one day I fell off. I busted my head, I saw I got my little stitches right here. And uh, I fell off the roof, I busted my shit. And my mom was a nurse. I shouldn't even be telling y'all this cause it's live or you know, it's gonna be documented, but my mom was a nurse. So she had all kind of nurse shit in the house. And she was like, um, see that's what you get for play. You're playing to a god damn much. I know I take you to the hospital. My mom sewed my head up in the room. She had a needle, she burnt the tip. She gave me stitches in the room, in the bathroom, it's crazy. Please don't report my mom, she a good woman. You feel me, like, <laughs> she sanitized it and everything. She stitched my head up in the room. I don't know if it's cause we didn't have insurance or she was busy, but you know, she stitched my head up in the room and to this day, I remember that shit. It hurt it like crazy, like crazy. My mom is crazy, but she told me, that's what child's get for get funny goddamn roof. No gets up there no more. Cause if you bust your head, I know I stitch it no more. That shit was crazy. I fell off this roof right here. It's like, all that shit means so much to me. Like every scar, every, every stitch, every bruise, every bump, like all that is a memory and it means so much to me. So, you know, but it's a good thing though, so. Anybody that loves me or love the music I make, this is what y'all need to thank. That radio and this house, it's what made me. Check out the view though, it's like, I know it's ghetto, you know, but, I know it's ghetto, but it's like, you could see like, th this was our view. You know, we come out here, get a glimpse of this. Th this is what you call a ghetto, point of view. This is my ghetto point of view. We ain't got no no beaches and no water. You might see a couple junkies and but you know this was our view. I would wake up in the morning and just look at my ghetto point of view and it would help me cope with the world. It's, it's an amazing view. I'd rather have this view than a Hollywood sign any day. It's crazy man. I love it, I wouldn't change it for the world. My ghetto point of view.
Nails. Me. No collars in my jeans. Just a product of the hood. I was stuck in. Now you see me pull up on the scene. Like one of the things Away from that bus stop, I got bail money, so I smile at my mug shot. All work, let the fun stop. Pick any rapper, and I'll go bar for bar. And I got club hot, BT to BET. Now I'm in something foreign when you see me leave. Never every Sunday. I'm as real as can be, and everybody fake knows like me, me, me. See all that. No more digging in the fridge for the leftovers. Uh huh. Now when I'm hungry, I call a chef over. They need to see this nigga work. They need to see how this motherfucker build shit. You know what I'm saying? I give them everything they asking for. Yeah. So they ain't gotta wait till Christmas for a bag of toys. Nah. I started rapping poor. Yeah. But to get where I'm at, I had to deal with bullshit like I a matter at the bottom with a dream. Hey. No dollars in my jeans. Just a product of the hood I was stuck in. Now you see me pull up on the scene.